The benefits of producing good, clear hand computation is an often underrated skill as a structural engineer, as we typically want to jump into the software and do that more complex analysis. However, it allows you to have a better understanding of how things come together and allowing you to explain to other people about why things are a certain way. However, there's one really big drawback to this, but I have a solution that I'll bring to you at the end that'll help you overcome this major drawback so you can gain the benefits of hand computations without the drawbacks that potentially you have. My name's Brendan, your structural engineer. Now let's get into it. The first major benefit to doing hand computations is that you understand the fundamental principles of the analysis that you're doing. So you have a better knowledge of when things have actually gone awry and how certain aspects actually work is you've taken the time to write it down and think about it as you've written it down on the page. So this is a really big clear understanding as you can see the flow of information, how the analysis actually works. So it gives you a deeper understanding of structural mechanics. So it's something that everyone should do, doesn't matter what part of their career they're in or what type of analysis they're doing. Always doing an initial assessment is something that is extremely important. Hand computations allow you to identify problems and errors in your assessment. As if you just rely on that trusty spreadsheet, it can be sometimes really hard to debug. Or if you've got an error in your analysis, it allows you to identify what magnitude you're trying to aim for and understand when the problems actually occur. As it's very easy to make mistakes in analysis software, especially when you're unfamiliar with the process. So you need some way of assessing to make sure that that software is correct. And even sometimes that software can have bugs in it. So by doing a hand assessment, you can validate the results and making sure that the results that you're getting out of that black box are of the correct magnitude. And if they're not questioning why, was it my analysis? Was it how it did it? Or is there an actual problem with the software? Number three, it's about developing your problem solving skills. One of your biggest assets as a structural engineer is your ability to solve problems. So therefore you need to have a better understanding of structural mechanics and writing it down and having the thinking process about how you're gonna analyze something gives you a better understanding of how the problems actually occurred and how potentially you can solve them. So when you're facing a new problem in a project, it's about critical thinking and thinking about the analysis that you need to do and how you can assess the problem in a systematic way, instead of just relying on the software or other analysis that come with the answer that you need. Number four, and it's about how you can communicate the problems that you're having so people have a better understanding of what they're actually doing. If they just get an analysis, stress outputs, or even just an Excel spreadsheet, they see the number at the start, they see the number at end, but don't have a fundamental understanding of the issues that you go through and how you specifically solve them. So it gives people a better understanding and it actually looks like the amount of work that you've actually done. So in spreadsheets, it can undervalue the amount of work that you've done, where hand assessment actually shows the amount of effort that you needed to go into. Yes, the Excel spreadsheet and the hand assessment are potentially the same level of effort to get to the right answer. However, the hand calculations give people a better knowledge of the issues that you had, how to solve them, and the amount of effort that you needed to go into to solve those issues. So it's not only is it showing off your technical skills, but it's also having people have a better understanding. So when they're having a similar problem in the future, they know how and why potential things to watch out for. Now that we've solved some of the benefits of hand calculations, so you're thinking, I'm gonna do hand computations every single time. However, there's one major drawback with hand calculations, is the fact that you have to redo them every single time. Every single time. While it's great for learning, it will slow you down as you need to redo that assessment every single time, making sure you're doing the correct assessment and analysis every time you do it. But there's a one amazing tool that allows you to overcome these issues, making sure that you can reuse your calculations multiple times over and over again. And this is a tool that I use on a daily basis, and this is called MathJot. And this is something that I've been a little bit associated to help with the development of. It's an online dynamic calculation tool. So you can spend the time doing those calculations in depth, making sure they're as neat as they can be, as clear as they can possibly be, as you can reuse it every single time. So you can change the variables at the start and have a different output at the end. So it's very similar to an Excel spreadsheet, but it's showing and laying out all the working that you need to have. And with this type of tool, it also has a thing called jots, meaning that you can have little subsets of calculations that you add in to add into a more complex solution. So instead of doing a single basis calculation, you build in little assessments like a checking stress, checking eye, checking stiffness, checking different things and building up that computation allows you to add in the different jots to make a more complex assessment. And then it is an online cloud tool. It means that you can more easily assess it wherever you are. So whether you're on your phone, laptop, or needing just to share with clients, it's a tool that you can bring anywhere and have available to you at any single time. So as a quick way to share in the kind of community that we're currently moving in, 
where more hybrid work is occurring. So whether you're working in the office, working from home or from site, you can have those calculations at the fingertips. So if you need to make in a quick assessment during a meeting, you're able to do this. Or if you're on site and the builders ask a specific question, you can make sure you're doing the correct assessment and giving the correct advice in a timely manner. So not only do you get the benefits of hand assessments as you can rapidly build up those more complex assessments by adding those individual calculations together, but it also allows you to show off your professional skills. The calculations look more professional and you get to show off your technical sides and have a better understanding of the fundamental or structural mechanics. So I'll have links in the below description to this website, which is currently free and any feedback to make this tool progress into the future would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> if you wanna know the 10 key skills that any engineer needs to have to bring their engineering skills and career up to the next level, I have a link to a video here. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, you can either go and check out the math jot, but also become a YouTube or Patreon member. Without the support of my YouTube or Patreon members, this type of content would not be to the level that it is today. Greatly appreciate the additional support that they give me. And as always, I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you next week. Bye.